Welcome to an exciting round of which one is worstest. That's right. We're going to share three clips with this man, Phil Johnson, executive director of Grace to You, and he's going to determine which one's the worst. Are you ready for your earnest responsibility? I am not only ready, I am excited. Three clips, 30 seconds. We wanted to be fair. Which one is worstest? The first contestant is from an Andy Stanley Church, oh, good. a North Point in Woodstock, Georgia. A little football rap for the Sunday worship service. UGA and Bama Park 2 in Atlanta. Yo, come on, kid. UGA and Bama Park Here we go. 2 in Atlanta. This year is really our time. We see the tide come and watch. Saturday night, Swift and Holyfield run. If we're about to shock the world, some think we don't have a chance. Some dogs about to be back to back SEC champs. UGA and Bama Park 2 in Atlanta. Okay. Uh -oh. UGA and Bama Part 2 in Atlanta. Okay, UGA and Bama Round 2. Ram a jammer. Okay. Watch the tide drop the hammer like we do. We win natties and you almost had it. Oh my gosh, nothing cuter than UGA fans' faces after that touchdown from Tua. You remember that touchdown? That was 30 seconds. That was a. I mean, that's contestant number one. 30 seconds of pain. That was awful. That's Sunday morning worship. Yeah, I got that. That's that's what makes it awful. All right, that's contestant number one. Contestant number two, if you love the 80s, you're going to love this sermon on money. We're going to talk today about money. You see, I want money. Okay, I thought the rap was amateurish. That's worse. That's oh, really okay. worse. Okay, what is at the core of their theology or their methodology that produces this? Well, this is sheer entertainment and bad entertainment. It's 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 dumb. It's silly and all of that. But it, it just it has no place in a in a venue where they're supposed to be proclaiming the word of God. It trivializes everything. It, whatever they might say now about money, even if they go to the scriptures, and which I kind of suspect with this as a prelude, they're not going to do. <laughs> and, and how does this really enhance the word of God? It wouldn't. It trivializes it. All right. That was clip number two. Clip number three, millions of people have seen this pastor trying to teach his congregation that Jesus is returning. And so what does he do? He installs a zip line and plays the role of Jesus on Judgment Day. Jesus Christ is on his way back. We've already read it even in the devotion that scripture, Revelation chapter 1 verse 7 uh, says that that day is going to come when the sky is cracked and Jesus Christ comes again and every eye will see him when he come again. And so here's our question for you this morning, brothers and sisters. The simple question is this right here. Are you ready? Are you ready for his return? Amen. That is exactly what it's going to look like on Judgment Day. Not exactly. You know, in fact, Christ is going to come in glory. That, that, that's just shameful. That's the opposite of glory. It was too slow, number one. It's just... Unnecessary. It just. Uh, but you'll, you'll love this. The pastor's justification. What better way to teach people about the return of Jesus than by showing it? I don't know. How's it about preaching it? Yeah. Right. Kooky idea. Read Revelation 19, 20, 21, 22. That would maybe compete as opposed to Mr. Zipline. All righty. Contestant one, football rap. Contestant two, Mr. Money. I believe that was cameo singing, I want money. And number three, yeah. And number three, this fellow zip lining. You know, one is, one appalls me because of where it is. This is one of the, maybe the large, certainly the largest church in Atlanta, right? Yep. And uh, so the number of, sheer number of people who see it and are inclined to, to cut him slack because it's Andy Stanley, that makes it really bad. But just in terms of, uh, repulsing me, you know, and being shameful and all of that. It's, it's this guy who comes in on the zip line. It's, 
It's not even a good zip line entrance, you know. And for him to say this is how the return of Christ is going to be uh, just, uh, it's almost blasphemous. Well, and besides, it doesn't really teach what it's going to be like. A blast of a trumpet, the shout yeah. from heaven, Jesus returning with a sword out of his mouth, blood on his thigh, grinding right. his enemies to powder, hardly con yeah. is conveyed in, in that. In fact, he came down so slow and awkwardly, it was funny. And there's nothing funny about the uh -huh. return of Christ. All right. We have our winner, courtesy of Phil Johnson. Which one is worst is discuss.